<clears throat> Good morning. Why am I looking so fuzzy? I just cleaned this thing. Good morning. If you watch this in the replay, hello, hello. How are you? Come on in. Say hello. I often wonder how I see like as soon as I go live, someone sitting here when I know I've just hit the go live button. So <clears throat> it is. Ooh, that's really loud. Let me turn down my fan. Well, I'll wait for a second. Okay. I don't want to do that yet. <laughs> Somebody's here. Okay, so I'm up as always, and I decided to put on some makeup. So I thought, why not do it on camera and let people, you know, hang out with you? Of course I'm wearing clothes. Of course. Hi, Kay. How are you? I'm always wearing clothes. I wouldn't be on here butt-ass naked. But I guess, you know, people are kind of used to this. So let me just do that. Yes, I have on clothes. This is what I, this is what I, listen, it's hot. I don't have air conditioning. So you got to stay a little more cool in Chicago. So how are you doing, Miss Kay? I haven't seen you in a while. Kay, I want to do this kind of live program thing and it's going to be called tag something where we do lives together well we don't do it together we do it we each take an hour on our channel and we promote each other's channels so you know like i would go live at a certain time and then other people would go live after me and like three people and we would do an hour live and we would be telling you know people hey we would schedule it and everybody would know we're doing this whole live collab. It's like a collab. So I'm saying this because I know you do lives. And I was just saying, if you want to, if you would be interested, let me know. I will email you or something. That way, because let me tell you, Kay, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? I don't know what's going on, but apparently Jacqueline Hill live is like solid. People are loving it. And this month, now my views are, you know, okay. But, okay, cool, yes. But let me just tell you, I've gotten about 2 million watch time minutes this month. Over 2 million. Yeah. It's the one where I'm talking about she's getting a refund. Jacqueline Hill, you know, is giving a, finally giving a refund for the lipsticks. And... Right now, yeah, yeah. Now my views, oh, okay. But what it's doing is, and you will understand this, is driving people to watch my lives. Hence why I'm doing my lives. Because my lives are getting suggested out. Like my suggested videos, Kate, are you ready? Okay, are you ready? They are at like 92% is like suggested videos. That's how people that are watching me off of suggested videos. 92% of my views this month is, a, is from suggested videos. Now, is it converted subs? I don't care. You See, you understand this part. Okay, if they become subs, that's fine. But if not, that's all right, too, because they're because that means that people are watching me. Yes, I'm like, whoa. And so what I had to do, you know how they tell us this, you know, they tell us to do this, is that you have to see where your momentum is. And the momentum is on my lives. So, it's my lives. Um, yeah, so that's why I said I wanted to do... No, they really don't. Views matter. What matters is your views, honestly. And you, as long as you go on that monetized side, you're good. I'm drinking my hot lemon ginger water. Yay! And let me show y'all something. It is so... You see how yellow it is? That's just from steeping it. Just steeping it a little bit. For 30 minutes, that's how intense the lemon is. So, yeah. Been going well on that. So, that's why I want to help encourage people um, to do lives. Because, if especially when you're smaller and you're trying to gain your watch hours. Like, you might have your subs right, but your watch hours are off. If I can help you because I'm, you know, I'm getting suggested out to this level, I would love, I would love to help everybody, you know, grow. And it's so great. And you, if you do it well, 
um, you can get a lot of momentum and get people to watch you and get your watch hours up. Because I know that for me, because I do lives, my watch time has never been the problem. It's been my views. I get watch time every month. I mean, I could go through my watch time and show it's just in my views, but I'm okay with that because we're going to work it. We're going to work it like a $2 hoe. So if I can help some people do it because they, you know, I'm suggesting them out, putting them and, you know, and then letting them see that going live ain't that hard. Everybody's so scared of going live. So I'm priming my eyes with the, this paint pot, the soft ochre paint pot. I'm trying to use it. I'm still not sold on it, but it does cancel out the color. It's so funny when people do this and then they come up looking like um, looking like they're a clown because you really do need to cancel out all that color on your lips and give your shadow some place to sit. I, you know what? It's so funny because I'm better at live streams than I am at videos. And you know, my videos, even though my videos are getting better, my, you know, I'm working on my intros and everything, trying to be like you. I mean, my, my editing is not the, at the level that yours is, but you know, I'm trying, I'm trying. But you do more vloggy style videos. So that's why yours, I don't do vloggy style. Your, your vlog style videos are on point. So Candy, what's up? What's up? When you gonna start doing it? I saw your 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 statement about not being um, white bread untoasted when you come on camera. Oh yeah, your stuff is awesome. So I am going to use the Emily Wants palette. I have actually used it once now. Well, let's say twice because the first time I used it was when we was messing with Tati. Tati does drive my t channel. Um, but I've done it again, trying it out because I've had this thing for almost a year and I barely used it. That, well, actually, I only used it that one time. Let's just be honest. Now, if you see smoke behind me, I don't know if you can see it. No, you can't see it. It's because I'm burning incense because the window in my room, is the, is the fan too high? Because I'll turn down the fan because I know I have my fan on because it's hot. No, I'm just, I'm just saying. No, no, I'm saying it was. I'm not gonna ask you, girl. Please, I don't, add, I don't put people in my mess. I don't put people in my mess. Okay, well, okay, but in the beginning, that's what you can do. You can just film and do it. Um, right, right. Okay, see what I'm saying? Cause you know, I live in the hood. I don't have central air. You know, I got a fan in the window. Okay, so I'm going to try this right here with tax, with this one. I'm going to use this dues pay right here. No, no I'm going to start with, yeah, I'm going to start with dues pay right here. Right here. And, um, yeah, because, you know, we ain't got, we don't have things like central air in my apartment. But I have other things that I needed, like a dish a dishwasher and a washing machine and dryer. So for the price, I had to give up the that but those are more hey my baby i just started i've only been on here for eight minutes so i'm using this juice today now what i'm finding and i want to see on this one is that honestly the mid-tones are very nice very pigmented right okay so i just you know i'm saying if it's too much for y'all so, Kay, I will be in touch with you so we can figure out a time that we can do it. Because I, I want to do it like two or three people. That would be awesome. I want to do it on Tuesdays, but it's looking like Tuesdays is not a good day for people. Because I'm open. So, it'll be like an evening event. And I want to have like a few people. So, we'll, you know, each person does an hour. And that way you have the support of, you know, people coming through. Okay, cool. I'll in, you have your email, don't you, on yours? Because I'll check it and get it, and then I'll send you an email. I'm going to do something with Kay. I'm feeling all special. Hi, Poppy. What's, the, what's your name? 
What's your name? I, let me see. Let me see your name. Stop doing that. Poppy and Gray. Well, good morning. I'm going to do an evening. Um, okay, cool. Um, I'm going to do an evening live today, micro needling. I will, I will schedule it because I'm going to micro needle tonight. And so I'm going to do it on. All right. How's, how's she doing? It's, I was going to say he, she because I'm always about to she. But, um, okay, so you know what I'm saying? This is actually better than I thought it was going to be. This is dues paid. Playing with the Emily Wands. I did do another look that I filmed just recently. It was a really soft look. Came out look nice. Hi, Kabuki Bros. So I'm trying it out to see how I like it. So we're doing a little windshield wiper. Look, I'm going to be like, now windshield wiper with a little, um, you know, to blend it out. Hi, Shell. Hi, good morning. Let me know if this fan is too high. I can turn it down just a little bit. I can do that for you all. I can make that happen. And I can, I can do that. All right. So I'm going to go lighter on top just to make sure that I give it a nice gradient effect. But I want to say that actually came out pretty good, y'all. Not patchy. Now, this is the original Emily Wants. This is mold uh, Emily Wants. So mine didn't have mold. <laughs> so, you know, it's not a big deal. Um, so I, this is one of the first ones. So I'm going to try this hobby on top just to give it a little, you know, so it's not quite so. This is the biggest ass mirror. Let me just go and play with this mirror. Oh, shit. So, anyway, I wanted to do this so you all could see it. Because I do like to do some things live so you all can just see it in the moment. There's no editing. There's no me trying to fake it, trying to act like, oh, I love it. I think it's kind of important that I do this. Okay, this is looking kind of decent. What y'all think? What y'all think? Okay. Okay. This is one of my um uh e e no. What is this called? Amazon. I have been using these for years. I'm gonna get another set so I can actually do the video on it. See are they still the same? Because I bought these a couple of years ago when I just need I wanted some extra brushes. Which is a good thing because today I need to wash brushes. Um and you see I'm doing a little more, less dramatic, more, you know, everyday kind of vibe. Okay. I'm trying to do, I'm trying to be like, you know. Okay, so I want to do, let's see. This is actually, now I know, you know what, I, one day I'm going to be that YouTuber who does really long, dramatic eye makeup looks that take like 20, 35 um, minutes. You know, that's what I'm going to need to do. You know, like, I'm going to do something that's going to take an hour to do my eyes. That's what I need to be doing is, because, you know, that, that makes me a real YouTuber if I'm doing, like, you know, if I take an hour on my eyes. Like, if you watch some people be on Facebook, and then you're taking an hour to do their eyes alone, and they're doing, like, a one look, and it takes three fucking hours. I'm like, y'all need to manage your lives better. People are like, well, they're talking. I'm like, you can talk and put on fucking makeup. And, and I get it, you know, I don't know, their technical skills is better than mine. That's all I got. They technically better than me because it takes it. Because I feel, I guess if you take longer, that means you're better at it. Your blend is going to be better, but that's not real life. Okay, so, because I ain't got time for that shit. <laughs> I got to no time for that. All right, so what I'm going to do is... In my lower crease, I'm gonna deepen it up just a little bit. Yeah, you know it's you know it's time to wash and you can barely find a brush you wanna use. You're like, no, 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 this is not the brush I need. This might work. This might work. This is a Morphe M330. I am going to take this color apartment right here and I'm gonna put it in my crease right here, just in the I wanna lower it into my crease. 
just to see how this is going to work. Oh, nope, this is my own brush. I can see that right now. It's too flimsy. I need something with a little more. I'm going to use a crazy brush right here. Oh, nope, I'm going to use this crazy. Oh, I'm about to investigate somebody because I think somebody's doing something. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. I was all over here. Does anybody say? Right, you know, it's, it's that brush, brush cleaning day. Come on, come on, Ken. We could do it. Okay, so I'm just going to put this in the crease a little bit just to deepen it up a little bit. Now, what I have found so far playing with it is the darker colors are very light. I mean, you can get them to work, but they are not as pigmented as you would want them to be. You know? So, just be aware of that. So, you know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's okay, but look at how deep it looks in the pan right there. And then look at how it's coming on. So even though, like, you know, I'm seeing that the things that people are saying, like, it's workable. But it is definitely not as pigmented. And so it's going to take you some buildup. Now, is that a bad thing? I don't think it's a bad thing. Because, honestly, I think, like, Emily's um viewers are not people that um that are not people that are like you know super you know mua kind of people who are trying to have you know this instagram worthy look this is a very you know but i do like now i did notice this and i'm gonna say this and i'm gonna show you something that i mean i noticed that it kind of is set up in kind of almost how to do your looks. Like if you're um, having, if you're like questioning it, um, they kind of almost did, but not really. They put colors that were very similar together. So maybe you could say, oh, okay, I could work these together. Like they have, now the only problem here is this is all shimmers, but they have like these four right here that are very pretty together, that would be very pretty together. The only thing is, is almost all shimmers. I feel like this, and y'all know how I feel about this. If you watch me, I think sometimes it has it has more shimmers than it needed. It could have gone less on the shimmer, more on the mattes. Just to be honest, because it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, it's got nine. It's got nine. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna give them her nine. I just okay. Maybe they should have put them in a different order, places. Because like for instance, this. You got these deep dark ones right here that are in the green family. If you were gonna make it so that people could really see how to work with them, they should have put these down there with those so that you could see like right here. Even though this quad right here works really well together, they also should have moved those down there to help people who are not as, you know, who are not gonna look at it that way to really see, oh, okay, these colors do kind of go together. Okay, so that's just my thoughts. Does anybody have this palette and what are their thoughts on it? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm being a little anal. I know it. So I'm just going to put a little more to do this page right up there. So Candy, when you start your channel, when we gonna see you come up, cause we gonna have a, we need to have a. You should do a longer one and have. I don't know if you could do a premiere on your very first video though. So yeah, you, but we gonna need to be able to know that you're going so that we all know to go and check you out. So I'm gonna need to know when you upload so that we can go watch you, Candy. What do you think your first video is gonna be? What have you decided on? Yes, girl, I'm all up in your business. So, like I said, this is a decent color, but it's just not that dark. And you will have to build it up to get that brown, that good brown color. I don't see these doing, like I said, I don't think they would be the best for someone with a deeper skin tone. But they are very soft. 
not scratchy. All right, let me clean up this um, right quick. Do, do, do. Do, am I missing something when I turn? All right, y'all gonna have to talk to me. Don't just look at me like I'm crazy. Don't just be looking at me, y'all. I'm gonna need some interaction. I'm gonna need some conversation. That's what I'm gonna need. <gasps> Ooh. Birthday hauls are such a good one to start with. Those get your views, baby. Those get your views. People love to watch hauls. I don't know what that's about. Hell, I watch hauls. So does anybody have this palette? You know, what are your thoughts on it? Has it worked for you? Do you love it? My eyelid was like, uh, no, you're not staying that low. You need to be up here. Because when I blinked, if you blink, you will get your crease. Hi, Joshua. Just so you know, if you do a blink, it will line your crease up correctly. So if you put some of whatever you're going to cut your crease with low, just a little dot, and look up. I learned this from, I think, Robert Uti Christie or something said that. And uh, it will set your line where it should be. And you will get your perfect lid. And it's not even that I do a cut crease, but I just like to clean it up. You know, I'm not that, I, I want to, maybe one day I'll do a cut crease. I'm just sorry, at this age, cut creases are just too much work. Cut creases is for the young and the, and the MUAs. Maybe I could do a version of a cut crease. Hi, ER. How are you? Like I say, Makeup Revolution is the color pop of collabs. Because they pull out a collab every week. See that? So when I blinked, it came up. So that's how you know. How are you in bed? I, I should be in bed. Instead of up at 6 a.m. putting on makeup. You know, the life of YouTuber. The laugh of a YouTuber. Oh no, it's not limited. That's why I'm still using it. But I'm saying that Makeup Revolution is the color pop of collabs. Because every other week they pulling out a collab on our asses. They must have their own lab too. I'm gonna say they're like, you know, color pop, they have their own manufacturer. They're a manufacturer with a company on the side because they're coming out with 17 different companies they're coming out with 17 different companies okay i'm done you know there's this moment when you're doing your makeup you have to still stop okay so stop it because i'll be here trying to clean this damn lid up forever um so I know that because look, I bought this last year. For me, you know, doing, getting those limited editions is cute, but no, thank you. Okay, so then I'm going to take this color corduroy because I want to play with it. It's this deep green. How <laughs> was it? Um, This deep green right here, corduroy. And I'm gonna put that in my creek in my corner, which was what I should have done first, and I forgot about it. But we're gonna make this work. Yeah, I'm gonna see how these work, you know, because we wanna see how they see this is what happened before. Now this is what happened before. This is this color, but it really doesn't come up like that. 
this is what happened the last time I was playing with these is that the darker colors aren't that great. Nope. That's what I did. I was hoping it because you know I want this to be fucking intensely green on the outer corner. I want a deep damn damn it. Does it? Thank you for explaining that to me. Thank you for explaining that to me. The next time I do it, I will go from darkest to lightest and see what happens. I mean, okay, I can pack it on and get it on. Because, like we said, the, um, that color was cute. Okay, so I'm going to do another look. Okay, so we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, so I'm going to leave this alone for a minute because I will sit here and drive myself crazy. Really? Now, that is very interesting. That is very interesting to know. Thank you for explaining that to me. Because I went with the mid-tone color. But you all see, okay, so it's trying to, but it's a little, now I have to pull this out because I have a fold on the side of my eye. But y'all see, it's like really hard to get it to do something. And right here, I had an issue. My eye waters a little bit when I pull it. So I have to be careful. But, uh, yeah. This is one of those things where the wing is going to make it work. You know? Remember how we were talking about when in doubt, wing it out? Alright, so the next time I do this, I will do my dark color first. As I was just instructed. And see how that works then. Okay, so... Right, exactly. See, she done taught us something. Isn't this, see, this is the beauty of me doing this shit this way. We have learned something. Because now I kind of get it, a, a color coming up. Right, baby, that wing can be up here. You got to be real careful with the wing. Okay, so I'm starting to get the color build up. Okay, we're going to stop there. And we're going to put some shimmers on. So let's do a little shimmers. Shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. Let me find something to put the shimmers on with. Woo, it's getting hot. Okay, my bad. If you are if you are sensitive to cursing, you might as well leave. I think I'm gonna have to start saying that to people. You know, if you are sensitive to cursing, don't come on my channel. Don't fucking come here thinking y'all gonna regulate me. I really can't stand that whole regulation shit folks be trying to do to you on your channel. You know, it would be so much better if you didn't curse. You know, people would enjoy you better if your mouth wasn't so foul. Okay, bitch. Fine. Good, good for you. Thank you for telling me. Now let me go on back to my curse my, my curse girl glance. <laughs> you know. I'm like, yeah, okay. Thanks a lot for informing me of that. I mean, people really want to, and I'm not just talking about cursing. In general, they really want to regulate your, your, your channel. You know, I mean, I mean, I have seen that where in some of my comments, you know, it would be better if you were. You might get more views if you didn't curse so much. Okay, fuck you, bitch. How about that? But I don't say that in the comments. But that's what I think. That's what they say. They say people who swear frequently are smarter. So apparently I'm a fucking genius. I am a fucking genius. Okay, so I'm going to start out with Grateful. This really pretty um, light blue color. I always like to see... Okay. K 
think I would never think that. Okay. See, I would never think you curse based on your videos because you're just so nice. How's Clover? Okay, you definitely, um, yeah, I know. That's that's going to be my issue. They're going to be like, bitch, stop swearing. Okay, fine. You definitely need to spray it, but it is pretty. Clover, we can see that Clover lives his best life. Clover is definitely li living the best life possible. Clover's living the life I want to have. Okay, so um, this is coming out. I don't. Um. Oh yeah. Yo. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Your dog is spoiled. Yeah. I'm liking the light green. You pull that out just a little more. It does need spray though. It definitely needs a little spray. Okay, that's right, 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 right. So Clover is you all's kid. I'm just waiting. I am my daughter. I oh, if y'all know, if y'all don't see it, I don't know if you can see, but I have blue nails. It's from uh, Bianca wanted blue locks. I had to, I had to uh, do her hair last night. Hi, Dee Dee. How are you? I always love when I make it when I do these and my overseas people can come and hang out. I need some iron. However, I have this I have this system of spray the clothes with some water, throw them in the dryer, and they're just fine. <laughs> Does anybody use that system but me? Am I am I alone on that system? Don't lie. Don't lie. Tell the truth. How many of y'all use that system? We we all family here. Don't leave me out in the don't don't leave me out in the lazy <laughs> lazy wrinkled chicks <laughs> life alone. Don't leave me there by myself. Yeah, girl, if you need to rush and do something, you can spray your clothes and get them a little damp, throw them in the wa in the dryer. Right, right. Wet a towel, throw in a dry. Right. It's not that hard. Now it has to be something that you're not looking to have, you know, creases in. You know, you don't want to have the creases in it, but if it's something, you can just spray it with a little something, or throw a towel in there, and then right. That's how I live. That's how I live my life. I'd be like, ooh, let me throw this. And you're doing your stuff, getting ready. And your clothes are getting ready for you. So by the time you've done your face, you've done all that, your clothes are nice and warm and you put them on wrinkle-free, boom. And if you're really good at this, this is the other way you do it. You put them in there while you're taking your hot, if you take hot showers, you put it in there and let that, you know, steam it up. You get that steam going and then you put it in the dryer. See, you've done two things at once. You, 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 listen, you got to do what you got to do. All right, so now I'm going to try the side hustle, which is this deep green, and I'm going to put that on the outer. See, that's what I'm saying. Right, okay, well, now we have, you You have now, you now know what to do from now on. Girl, I have done that too, where, you know, you want... Or how about this? You forget you wash something and then it's like, oh shit, you have to rewash it. That's a bad thing. Kay is Kay is cringing at all of us right now. If you want to watch Kay, the organized soprano, and you want to organize your life and get your life in order, go watch Kay. She will get you in order. In a nice, sweet way. But she will get you in order.
Still not gonna declutter my makeup, but that's not gonna happen. I am, I do need to declutter my lipsticks. And I'm gonna try to go savage with it because they always get out of trouble. Um, no, I do like how the colors coordinate. I think it's a well done. There you go. There we, now we didn't help you. Just get it a little damp and put a damp towel in there. Put it in the dryer. Boom, you're good to go. I will say that I do like the way the colors coordinate well. I think it was a well put together palette from a... Um, my lipsticks don't really get gross. Um, but I will get rid of some of them. Listen. That's why I'm going back to two lipsticks. Because you don't have to worry about them getting gross. Two lipsticks don't really get gross on your ass. It's some damn liquid lipsticks that'll, that'll screw your whole life around. Oh, okay. I like this color, though. This is really nice. Hold on. I'll be right back. Let me grab, let me drink this down. Grab me my second cup of, uh, So, and then we're gonna blend it out. Make sure you know we don't have any harsh lines. So we'll we'll spend a little time blending. But these greens are gorgeous together. Oh my god! I am in love. I am in love. See how I did that, Kay? I was trying to be you. I was trying to be you. <laughs> See, they all still good. Yeah. So let me, let me, okay, let me go get my water. I promise y'all, I am going to do my Mr. Rogers neighborhood intro soon. Because this door is calling for me to do Mr. Rogers. Like, it's a beautiful day in the beauty world. A beautiful day for a beauty. Would you be my... Okay, let me go get my water. neighbors I'm back hi neighbors hi neighbors I'm back <laughs> I'm telling y'all that's coming I gotta figure out how to do it and what's gonna be the subject I mean, it might just be that shit I don't know <laughs> I'm telling y'all uh, I'm doing it And Gray. So Poppy and Gray is new, hanging out with us. Are you a subscriber? If you are, oh this, yeah, oh thank you about my dress. This is my house dress. Hey Rita, I wear these around the house. <laughs> I just gotta work it out. I gotta get the actual instrumental version of it. I'm trying. I'm looking for it now, so I can do. I gotta make my lyrics up and everything. I got a plan for it though, cause it's okay. It's, I gotta play it. I gotta. It's working up in my head. I told B yesterday. She was like, "You gotta have house dresses. You got to have the house dresses." Cause y'all was feeling that. Oh, after I read J. H. Well, thank you so much. Right, right, exactly. Right. See, that's what I'm saying. I got to figure out a way to do it where I don't get copyright claimed. 
So that's my thing. I gotta figure it out. Um, can I do it? What if there's a karaoke version that I could get away with? Okay, cool. Okay, so we're getting a blend in there. Thank you. Thank you, Candy. Thank you for doing that. Kay will attest to this. The hardest thing to do on YouTube is begin your channel. That's one of the hardest things to do is to just go ahead and begin your channel. And, uh, because we, we, both, we tend to overthink it. We drive ourselves crazy. Right, just upload, film some sh film because as everyone will tell you, your first videos are going to suck. You know, they really are from what you will achieve later on. Right. I, I like my videos are so much better now. I'm much more comfortable cuz you can't get comfortable in front of the camera until you get in front of the camera and do it. And then just say fuck it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send it out. But see, the Aryan in me, the Aries person in me, will get to that point. You know, it takes me a few, but then it's like, fuck, we doing this shit now. It's, 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 I listen. Okay, I need to see it. I'm, when I email you, you go ahead to send me the link. I have got to see that. Now, you know how we were talking about the, um, the angst we are seeing within the beauty community about shopping and everything um i was thinking about that and i wanted to talk about it a tad bit more just a tad bit more okay i will look but i'm telling y'all y'all need to go on and hit, hit i okay i wasn't one of your first people but once i really started watching videos I found you when you were like at 50, about 12,000 and I was like, dang, she got a lot of people. I was, I was low-key jealous. I was low-key jealous. And now you, what, what are you at? Are you close to 40,000 subscribers now, okay? I'm like, go, okay. Right, okay. And that's fine. It's just like, but once you really decide to do it, don't let yourself get sidetracked with oh my god i need to do this better or this needs to be how many are you at 34 i dropped thought she was already at 40 girl see do you see how i think about you um don't let how it looks don't overthink it and, and the thing is we tend to overthink it because we want it to be so fabulous you ain't gonna be fabulous in the beginning Okay, so I'm kind of liking this look. It actually was okay. Well, you know how it is. Momentum slows down. But like I was saying, okay, so we were talking about this yesterday in my live. Is that first off, um, and was it you, Candy, who said that? Hi, man. Good morning. Okay, so I'm kind of liking this. Um, yeah, yeah, right. Um, I am kind of liking this look now. It came out, it came out good. No, you will not be white. Okay, we all white bread untoasted when we begin. Let me say this. We are all white bread untoasted when we begin. For real. Because my shit in the beginning was like, what? I mean, it was decent, but it wasn't the best. It's you just have to grow into your personality and being more comfortable on it but some people are just white bread on toasted how about this hey we'll think, how about this some people in real life are white bread on toasted so they can't be nothing but white bread on toasted on, on camera think about it right right i don't honestly i think I'm better now at them than I even was last year on my videos. 
because I've become more comfortable with it. My editing is getting a little better. I, I, I can think a little more creatively even when I'm doing it or how to make it look more interesting. So those are the things that you get as you try it out and go, oh, okay, let me try this shit. And then you try it and say, okay, I kind of like it. Okay, hold on, I gotta blow my nose. So, you know, don't, people, people stress too much on it. People stress too much on it. And then they don't do it. And see and so the other thing is is that you know you got to know that it, it ain't gonna be that easy out here these youtube streets it's not it is not it never is just never is So it never is. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Exactly. And so and so that's and then go into it like that and then just chill and it will be what it will be. Now I gotta tell y'all, I'm loving this eye look already. I think it's okay, I'm loving it. More than I thought I was when I got up in here. The green came out okay. I was able to get it to work. Now, the next time I do a look, I will do it the way ER told us to do with, with the Makeup Revolution. And I'll go dark to light as opposed to light to dark. And we're going to see. Man, these look really pretty. Right. You can. You can, girl. You can pull off green. You can pull off green. I think, okay, so here's what I did with this one that could work. Is if you want to do a little green, then go with a brownie, you know, because like you see the, I went with, as opposed to going full on green and just doing a whole green look, I started it out with this right here, which was dues paid. And then I used the hobby on top and then went in with apartment. So remember like brown and green are perfect because trees and plants, they look awesome together. So play with that and then just give you a little green and then it won't be so because i know that it, it can be a little intimidating colors like this can be intimidating no lie and i tried to make it a little more neutral green because we know i will go full green i will be green as a motherfucking i will look like an evergreen tree when i'm done <laughs> i'll be evergreen tree green all right so let me just some with these brows like I said, I really hate doing my brows ahead of time. Yeah, I think they, I think they are. I think um, I, the shimmers are really nice. Here's the thing that I like. Um, yeah, I think so too, Joshua. I think that sometimes we think we can't, and I think also to get used to it. Like even with the, with the blues, because we know I do blues, so I think I'm gonna do a more toned down blue look soon. A couple of them, maybe to show how to like really wear something and in a way that that's that's why but that's why you saw so many neutral palettes with a pop of blue because that's a good way for people to wear that blue color that really stunning blue color without it feeling intimidating was to put it in with a pop of blue okay miss emily is doing it for me oh let's do some eyeliner child what the fuck am i doing all right, we're gonna wing, we're gonna try to wing this out. We're gonna try to wing it out. I'm gonna have to work. We gonna try. We gonna try to give it a wing. We gonna try. I love this brush. I just hate the handle on it. This is the crown brush. This is the Deluxe Crease SS012. I got it at the makeup show last year. But I don't like the um, what's the name? <laughs> Okay, what am I playing with? Let me just unplug it. Boom. Mustalazi. Hello, lover. This is the because I'm a gel person. I don't do well. They are the unproblematic Morphe. 
However, their shadows are terrible, but their brushes are nice. So when it comes down to their brushes, yes, they're, they have just like the worst shadows. The worst. I would, I would not buy those shadows, ever. I know Bossy Charm had a, a crown thing. It was like, oh, okay. I predict in 2020, we're going to see a lot of these um, subscription boxes fall off. I think this over, the market is oversaturated. I do too. I had a, I had a code for crown for 25% off, which I think I've lost. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Um, which, uh, I lost that cause it, anybody could use it. It was like something that would get you 25% off. So I'm gonna see, can I find it? Did I actually, did it actually move with me? Did I put it in something and I just haven't found it? So I'm looking for it cause I will post it up because it works all the time. There's no expiration date. They give it out at the makeup shows. I love the guy from Crown though. When I was at the makeup show, which I am going to again in October, um, <laughs> the, the guy at the crown booth it was like you know they had sets out um crown crown eyeshadows um he had they had sets out and they had individual brushes so i was buying individual brushes because they had a slew of individual brushes that you could just go through right so i'm going through them and going through them and i'm just pulling them out and just taking them and they had the prices on them they're very inexpensive homeboy i gave it to the guy he looked at it. He was like, he was like $25. I had way more than $25 worth of brushes. Uh, maybe it was 20. No, it was 20. It was like 20. I was like, okay. Cause he didn't feel like counted out trying to figure out how much each one was. He was just like, yeah, $20. I was like, oh, I'm coming back to uh, yeah, crown. I got to see if crown is going to be there again. Cause if they are, I'm going to load up on crown brushes at the makeup show. Oh, okay. They should. You right. Yeah, the the beauty subscription boxes. I know people like them. And yes, you can try a lot of things, but like somebody like me, I found that's that's why I got rid of it. I was like, most of the shit I don't want. Um now to be honest, I could probably do a skincare box. A really nicely curated skincare box. I was I could do that. Right. Derm store has one. See, I might have to take that one up. Oh shit. I don't think this one. I think uh Okay, I will. Right. They really should. Because as much as you talk about Clover on yours, I'm surprised one hasn't reached out to you. Because you love Clover. And Clover lives the best life. Right. I mean, I like BoxyCharm. I think... I think it's really good for somebody who's really trying to, like, create their uh, makeup collection and it's a good way to get pretty you know um you know nice quality stuff at a decent price you know i mean no it's not always gonna be what you want but for the price if you're trying to create a collection and you know you're getting into makeup it's a really good place to start 
because they do get some good shit, you know. Um, but like for me, the majority of stuff I don't keep. I was like, yeah, I don't want this. Yeah, I don't want this. So it was. It became like, okay, why are you doing it? It really wasn't worth it to me. So that's why I got rid of it. Um, I don't know if they still make it. Right. Yeah, I don't know why they wouldn't. Oh, yeah, definitely you can use them for gifts. I got to, um, you know, I should just do that. And again, now, to be honest, it's actually kind of a very lucrative way, an inexpensive way. But I'll be honest with you. The climate of the makeup community right now, beauty community, is, is that we're not buying as much. And you notice there's a lot of sales. So, um, I can get the stuff I want on sale. Like, I'm going to break some folks off Black Friday and Cyber Monday. I, I, I'm, I'm getting my coins together for that. I'm breaking them bitches off. And, uh, but, but I do know I'm going to the, the makeup show. And so the makeup show is going to have decent prices on everything. Right. Right. I didn't either. I didn't get the, I, but you know, I'm not a huge Sephora shopper um, because I have found that I can get better deals from the companies themselves. I'm on this right now. Um, I'm more with Sephora because y'all know I, I don't really shop at Sephora. I'm only going to go to Sephora if I cannot, because I might want to get a bunch of them together. Like if I want to go get a bunch of you know the foundations because that's pretty much all I buy at Sephora's. I spend like I'll spend when they have the VIB sale. I normally will go and pick up like three or four foundations that I want to try. Like if I do, but on on the, on the flip side, I want to try Urban Decay. I want to try Dose of Colors. I can get that at Ulta and get my points. Um, so Sephora is like one of those things that it's like oh okay, whatever. I was like, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, whatever. I have finally gotten to this point where I can do a semi-petite wing. Because I think that when you first start trying to do your wing, your wing is huge. I noticed that my wing... Um, I need to, but I have to toss mine. A, it was old, and B, the pump died on me. So, it was telling me something. It was like, uh, yeah, okay, I'm old now, bitch. Uh, if you want me, you're going to have to re-up on me. Right, I've gotten better with the baby wing as opposed to the extremely large cutaway, flyaway wing. Oh my goodness, speaking of that stuff, I was in Jewel's yesterday, which is a local um, grocery store here. If you have Albertsons, it's the same company. So basically, Jewel is, Jewel is our Albertsons. So for places that have Albertsons, that's Jewel's here. The cashier had the most annoying, big ass eyelashes ridiculous i'ma need oh and let me say this and i'm about to be kind of racist it's I, it's my sisters who do this shit these black women and the thing is with black women and and lashes let me just be real they don't wear makeup but they put on these big ass lashes that look fucking ridiculous 
this woman's lashes were so long it was hard for me to not focus on them i was trying not to stare at her, at her face and the lashes but the motherfuckers was thick it looked it really truly looked like listen i will call it on my people i'm not gonna sit up here and act like we do some shit right too we are not perfect and when it comes to them damn lashes these sisters ugh, listen i had to, i was given a tutorial on that shit and with the little girls in my school i was like do not do that no more mm -mm, mm -mm. i mean these lashes i let me find some of my longest big ass black lashes now these are my these are my opulence ones no these are the grandeur ones they were like out to here like looking at these and then it was a straight lash it didn't have any fluffiness it didn't have any depth it, it didn't have any of this it was just like i swear you it came out to about right there right there i was like bitch do you see yourself do you look in the mirror exactly your stage lashes which are meant for people to see you from the stage those that's what they wear it they i'm so glad you explained then the I was like, right, right. They look like with not, with not a stick of makeup on. Ain't got her brows done. Nothing but these big ass damn lashes. I had some students looking like that. I had to tell them, girl, I said, honey, you got to, but then, and then they go, and part of the problem is they get them from the beauty supply, which are the cheapest ass fucking lashes you could ever get. And I'm not talking about price. I'm talking about, thank you, Joshua. Like we, like we looking at them like, cause I have lashes that I can rock without anything on and walk out the street and people think they my lashes. That's a good lash. But, and I, I, it was, she was so nice and she was being so helpful. But I, I you know, remember in that scene, if y'all saw um, Austin Powers, remember when the guy had the mole and he kept going, mole, mole, and he was staring at it? That's how I felt. Because she was trying to give me some information, and all I could think is, what the fuck is on your lids? What are you doing with them lashes? That's all I could think. Cause they were a hot mess yes they look like lamb chop thank you Pop. yes they look like lamb chop and lamb chop was a puppet you know i think women i think women need to understand that drag makeup is not for us to wear every day if you want to go kind of draggish on your makeup and be very um you know <laughs> right because it was like uh-huh uh-huh i mean it was i i was like no because i had a student she had ones that were kind of long they looked like about the grandeur but the thing is is that whenever they get them they don't have any fluffiness any you know look that they, they're just these long ass lashes and i was like i had to tell one of my students i said baby don't wear them like that i was like mm -mm. nope nope you're not wearing them oh right and it's made for the drag for you to be performing like that and everybody want to look like that now no bit no no wench no stop it stop it right yeah you should have seen that as an omen child because it's like what are you doing what, what, so you really want to look like this huh this is the look we're going for today this is the look we're going for I mean, her eyebrows were nothing. Oh, that start of marriage? Yeah, I've done my start of marriage. It's time for me to have my uh, final marriage.
And she was like, girl, no, you gonna look good. Saw your pictures, you was just looking like, saw your pictures, you was looking like Aquaria on, on RuPaul, right? You was looking like Alyssa Edwards on the RuPaul Drag Race. You was giving full Shangela. Full Shangela. That is awesome. Listen, some starter marriage is your only marriage. I would love that. Ray. Right here, listen, like I said, I have lashes that I can wear where people do not know that I'm wearing lashes and I got on a full lash. That's fine. But when you got on a lash that makes absolutely no sense. Right, y'all ain't going away. Y'all been together for 20 years. Was it? Okay. Now, my sec my first, I didn't even have a wedding. It was because some stuff was happening. He was sick. You know, all this other shit was going on. But, um, if I had a wedding now, it would be on the beach with, you know, a little music, a little food, a little sangria. Let's just make this happen back. And then I'm going, I'm gone. I'm more about the, the honeymoon at this point in my life than the, uh, than the actual wedding. Don't you love how like, right? That's the priority, honey. Don't you love, um, yeah, it should just be a party. Um, don't you love how one eyebrow would just come together like that and then the, uh, and the other one is a struggle? There we go. That's what I'm talking about, Candy. Because I, well, let me tell you why. Because people have this belief, and y'all know, if y'all know anything about me, I'm very sexually liberated, open, whatever. That sex has this, you know, if you do this too soon, and eh, those, are the, you know, that shit is not, is not true unless you live by those beliefs. That, you know, oh my God, that... If you have sex with somebody too soon, she's a whore, and you can't be with these people. It's, it's insane. For one thing, we like I've always said, we uh, it's amazing to me that sexual sexuality is a is a character. You know. You know the people look at it as a as a character flaw, your sexuality, it can either be, you know, how dare you be? How dare you be sexual? And we treat it, I'm here to say that, you got to test drive it. I mean, would you buy a car and not test drive it? Listen. No, no, because we can't concern ourselves with our sex lives. We have to be concerned with everybody else that's around us. And we must judge it. And we must call women whores because of their sex lives. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that, baby. I have been lucky enough. Not, I have not hit it. I'm not in menopause, thank goodness. Um... Which is because I still have an ovary because I had a hysterectomy uh, 10 years ago. and uh, But they were able to save at least one. I'm sure he is. And they were able to save one. So I still, so I still haven't gone into menopause.
I think I would be a crazy bitch though in mental homes. However, I am starting to look up natural ways to deal with it now in anticipation of it coming. Cause I mean, it's gonna it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen at some point. Well, let me say my mama tried to say the sex was kind of dirty, but that didn't work out with me. Cause my, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I am no symptoms yet. Let I t well, I had to pull down my book because my students found me. As soon as I am no longer teaching, my book will be back up and I can sell it again. But um, let me just tell y'all, my mama used to say the craziest shit to me. My mama was like, don't. Okay, listen, this is what my mama told me. My mama told me one time, she's like, sweetie, don't be letting them men suck on your breasts. That's how you get breast cancer. Well, by that time, I, I, I had done it a few times, and I was thinking in my head, well, ma, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I'm still kind of loving this stuff. Right. She was like, that's why, she, that's why that lady got the cancers. <laughs> I was like, now I would say, even though I don't mess with my, my older sister, my sister gave me the best sex advice ever when I was about 15 years old. She said, Tweety, wait on sex as long as you can because once you, um, Right, you really were poppy. She said, "Cause once you start having it, you're gonna like it, and you're gonna want to do it all. The, you're gonna want to do it." So she says, "So just wait until you start." That was the best advice ever. Can't stand the wench now, but me and her don't get along. But you know, she's a little as witch of Eastwick. But it was a true statement. It was the truest statement. That was, can never be told to, to you. You know. You gonna like that shit. Yeah. It really was. Because my mother. Was not a sexual being. You know she really was not. Now see how this does change my color. That's why I said they should stop saying this is universal. And it's you know. Can be used on everybody. You know. You know how you can, honey. I don't know. Y'all get my book. Y'all gonna be looking at me in a different light. You gonna be like, Lulu is wild. Once I stop teaching, I put it back up. I had to deactivate it for a minute. Cause them little children was finding all kind of shit about me. I'm like, what the fuck? Well, what I could do is, oh, you know what I could do? I know what I can do. I can change the name on it. No, the blurring effect is beautiful, but it's, it says that it's universal and it is not. Now, I, I can do something. I'll see if I can do it privately because it's on Amazon. Hey, Kelly. Because it says, makes for color adapts to any skin tone and it does not because it makes me look and we know I'm not trying to look paler. So I'm going to try this um, Clinique even better because we have established that it's a good color match for me. The blurring effect is the bomb now. I'm not going to sit up here in front like an A. It is the bomb. But right every time it's like don't try to say that now of course it is kind of a primer so uh, you know it you can use it i'm 
this isn't something that you could wear i would wear without something on it you know Right, you know, it's not something that I'm going to sit up here and say that I can wear without something. No, you know, no, 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 no. Quit lying to me. Oh, you know what I want to try to use this time? Okay, we're going we're gonna to get back into trying these out. I'm going to put this on underneath the foundation. We're going to see how it looks. So this is the Liquid Illuminator by Ulta in Beaming Light. Oh, to you use one up? Yeah, that ain't happening. I actually, I'm about to use a couple up. I'm so proud of myself. So, yeah. Took me forever, but yeah. So, we're going to try this out. And I'm going to buff it all over my skin and see how it looks. I'm just going to use this. Right, honey, I understand the busted bitch, the busted bitch, nobody is in full effect right up in here. Okay, so right away. Um, well, I actually have one that's already that is a perfect match for my uh, to the to the Charlotte Tilbury. Well, I'm trying out different ones because I actually have a perfect match to my Hollywood Flawless Filter. Gorgeous! It is the LA Girl one. I swear by it. It is. It comes off just the same, works just the same. However, I still love my flawless filter. No lie. Maybe when I'm back to work. When after I buy all my school supplies, it is on and popping. Yes, it's a rosier one, and that's what I wanted to try out and see how this looks. Hmm. Why do I want to put more? Let's just go full rosy glow. I'm going to put the uh, foundation on over so we can see how it works. Um, let's just do a little more. Because I just don't feel rosy enough. You know, I'm just not feeling rosy enough. I'm just not feeling rosy goldy enough. <laughs> because I know they always say, oh, put, mix it. Uh, this is the Ulta Beauty Liquid Illuminator and Beaming Light. Okay, I'm feeling rosy glowish. I'm feeling rosy glowish enough now. <laughs> I will say this one, <clears throat> I would definitely say probably needs to be um, mixed in. I kind of like it though. Okay, so I'm seeing it now. I got our close up on it. Let's see, can y'all see it? This is much more subtle than the flawless filter. Or the LA girl. Um, but I want to try a few more colors in the LA girl one too and see how they look. Because they're so inexpensive. Because I really love the LA girl one. Okay, so now let's put on a little. Um, and this. Now I shook it up before. Yeah, I am too. I'm, I'm, um, the ultra matte look is cute. But I think I do like a little more sheen, a little more glow, a little more. It looks more life, like lifelike. You know, the the super matte has a tendency to be death masking. 
So by adding in more glow, it really is looking. I mean, don't get me wrong. Yes, we do need, you know, matte foundations for the fact that we, we're always oily. But you don't have to look super matte. And I think we need to move away from that whole, okay, I'm going to look like, you know, my skin does not move. And so you got to figure out ways. Man, I'm so glad liquid lips are taking the back seat. Because liquid lips are very hard to wear. Yes, they are long wearing and all that other good stuff. But they are not the easiest to wear, y'all. You have to have perfect 10-year-old lips that are totally plumped up. And I do mean 10-year-olds. <laughs> You know, you gotta exfoliate, you gotta you gotta balm it up, you gotta do all this so your lips don't look like they're cracking to heaven. Yeah, I'm so glad bullet lipsticks are, are coming back hard. And um and companies are getting away from it. I I I'm assuming that the lip, liquid lipsticks, you know, for one thing, they last longer. A good Listen, a good bullet lipstick you can have for 10 years. I agree, each Yoma. Yes, for lip fillers. And I ain't got none. I got regular, I got regular chicks' lips. Yeah, I can't mess with the, those. Like I said, there is a few that I can wear that are nice. Like, I haven't gotten the menagerie one, but when she was Makeup Monsters, I liked hers because they're very lightweight and, and non-drying on the lips you know um color rain has a good formula uh who else has a good formula i actually like the um l'oreal ones are nice you know there's a few of them that i can wear but do i really want to purchase anymore no every time i see some liquid lipsticks unless i'm doing it for a swatch oh my goodness y'all can see it now do y'all see the glow that is coming through Okay, y'all. Now, I will say this. That I do like this um, this color on this. I like the satin lips, yes. The satin lips are definitely like nice. I can't mess with the Milani ones, though. The Milani ones will kill your lips. Will kill your lips. They'll just be dead. They'll just be dead. Next ones, I like the song. Uh, yes, the glowy look in the summer is everything. Um, yes, I'm using a dirty ass concealer brush. Don't fucking judge me. Time to wash these fucking brushes. Okay? Okay. Let me just... We're just going to say that. It's time to wash the fucking brushes, Louise. I'm going to use a naked skin. I'm back on my naked skin. I'm sad I didn't buy more naked skin before they did the... Um, I like the next matte lip creams, but it, is it just me or does it always feel like there's not enough in there? Like, you're not getting that much product in it. The NYX matte lip creams are the only things that I have been able, that, I get, that I've gone through. And I think it's because it just feels like they don't have enough fucking product in them. I have been using this one so long, so long. I need to get some more under eye powders. I need to get more out. Yes, they do. And they do and they do that. Did you get the fancy bullet poppy? Ooh. Why would okay, let me just be real. When my coins are right, I'm getting the rest of them. And I'm looking for something to display them in. I put one of them on my lips. I was like, okay, Charlotte. Okay, Charlotte, you're coming for me. I had I'm gonna get I'm going to be getting all five. 
designs. I am, no lie. And I'm looking for the perfect thing to display them in. I'm going to use them though because I actually like them. Like the two colors that I got, I do like. Well, we can use that today because that will go with this. What the fuck did I just do? Oh my goodness. I have used one. Listen, I was so delicate putting it on my lips. It was hilarious. It was so hilarious because it was like, okay, smooth it on really nicely. We don't want to mess them up for the pictures, darling. And I had, it's like, okay, bitch, you got to use the stuff that you got, though. You go use it. I am seeing, now that I've had my foundation on, I can really see the glow. Um, yeah, this is the NYX um, HD Finishing Powder in Banana. Right. Oh, I get it. That's why I bought two now. See, here's what you got to do to yourself. You only buy one or two right now so that you feel better. And then you go back and get the So then, you know, you don't feel it so much at that moment. I'm trying to figure out, do I have, because I think with Nordstrom, they give you like a 25% off day or something crazy like that. I got to go and call them because if they do, that's when I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to order them again and get some money off. Because so, if I can do that. Okay, I agree. That's my that's my issue now. I'm, I'm like, I ain't got no money, but I really want those. I ain't got no money, but I really want them. So, I'm hoping that I bought mine through Nordstrom's though. So, okay, let me let me do something else. Okay. Look, I'm gonna try to be more um, YouTube beauty guru ish. So I'm gonna put a little up here. You missed out on it again, girl. Shut up. Shut up. I never do this. I absolutely never do this. Because I feel like I'm pale enough. Why I make myself look paler? Well, she's going to have it again. Because that's one thing about her. She is very much on to the, um, you know, her stuff is a limited edition. Her stuff is a limited edition. The dragons, okay. Oh, the dragon child. Ooh. Yeah, because it was better to buy that as the palette than because she has the end of um, no, it's a dragon child because you know it's gonna cost you. Cause, but if you only wanted a few of the shades, you can still get them because she does sell them as individuals. If you wanted the whole palette, that's another thing. Um, powder, powder. Let's see powder. I've been using a pretty ball again. Did your well song? Yeah. What do you think of have you played with it yet? Or did you just get it, Dee? Set is down. Set is no. Definitely got a set up here. Now, certain things I've been noticing, I don't know if they're repackaging or something, but Bare Minerals is getting rid of some products. And I am kind of sad. Bare Minerals Gen New, those are some of my favorite. Um, uh, they're one of my favorite um, liquid lipsticks. But they have gotten rid of a lot of the colors. Now, maybe they weren't selling. I don't know. I'm not here to say that. No. But because I love the Gen Nudes, and I noticed that they've gotten rid of a lot of them. All right, so let's put a little color back in this face. Okay.
Emily got in. Okay, Emily, Emily's wants got in for this look. Okay, okay, okay. Look, I am, as I've always said, for the people who don't know, I love a good powder buffing. Okay, let me get out of that. All right. So, let's do some blood bronzer. Um, like, I was, I like the, um, no, they're not talked about, because, like, I love this. I forgot how much I love this invisible bronzer. This bronzer is gorgeous. I don't know. Um, you know, fall releases are coming up. And I think, well, okay, ColourPop has got to start doing their fall nine pan, monochromatic nine pans. We know that's coming. I think orange is coming next. Yeah, that's true. See how gorgeous this is? And I don't think they're selling it anymore. I don't think they're selling it anymore. Before I forget. Right. Right. They're getting ready for Christmas. The only person I can hit up for Christmas in July is Miss uh, Sydney Grace. That's all I got some money for. That's all I got. If I got that, shit. Nah, no, nah, I got a couple of coins for her. Right, right. Christmas will be, no, nah, girl, Christmas releases start in August. Let's be honest. Toward the end of July, beginning of August, we're going to start seeing the Christmas lines come out. Because that's why that Too Faced damn gingerbread spice sold out so quick last year. Right? Let's just be honest. Okay, so. Blush. Blush. Now, I have been loving this blush, which is that Spice Peach. So, I'm going to try not to put it on because this is the blush I've been using. You know what? Um. Uh, I saw that Be Perfect one. I think it's pretty. Did I need it? No. So I, I looked at it, and now that I looked at it again, I was like, okay, it's really pretty. Did I need it? No. Okay, I'm going to use this because I've been wanting to use this again. This is that Colored Rain <laughs> Just Peachy highlighter, but it's really a blush. So let's play with this. <laughs> what I think is coming is... Um, we're going to see, because the blues and greens are out right now, I think we're going to see more foresty green colors coming out. I think a really pretty palette would be a foresty green palette with pops of orange. Really beautiful pops of orange and then a little burgundy. That would be such a pretty palette. You know, not no, just do deep forest greens, you know, a nice beautiful olive and then have pops of orange in it like a beautiful bright orange and then a deep like a more mid-tone orange and then put a couple of you know give us a little burgundy so we can really rock, rock that whole thing what is going on with this brush though uh, apparently i fucked it up okay right yes exactly Right, oranges and greens, wouldn't that be beautiful? Okay, so let's see how she's gonna look on me. She's bright and intense. Okay, she's not so bad. Okay, so she's pretty. Now, I think grays are coming too. Because they got it, they're going...
I don't know what I've done to this brush, but I'm gonna have to fix it. Okay. All right, Miss Color. Color Rain is doing a uh, um a uh, a collab with Power, the show for its last season. I hope she comes better than Urban Decay did with the, the Game of Thrones. I think there will be like a very gray. Gray is going to be in. I, I, we already said color, color pops don't have to come with a gray tone with a little black. Please don't do black sparkle. Um, whole thing like grays, icy, like an icy gray, you know, shimmers. Okay. She can. She can. And let's talk highlighter. Let's talk highlighter. Okay, so I think I'm going to do the Becca. Let's try the Becca. Oh, let's layer Becca's together. Because I have the rose gold out. And then I have this, uh, this Sun Chaser light thing that I still ain't fucking used that much of. And here's the thing. I have, let's be honest, Naked, uh, Urban Decay did it a while ago. The Naked Smoky Palette. You know, um, they really did. <laughs> let's just be honest. Nobody liked it. Everybody talked about it, but they did do it. They did do it. Oh, all right, all right, girl. Yes to the gray hair. Yes to the gray hair. So, I have both. I have Smoky and the Smoke Palette. So I have them both. Right, people didn't like that palette though. So this is the Sun Chaser one. This is the uh, light chaser, I mean. Right. Yeah, they talk, yeah, we're talking about true grays. I think that, you know, because like blue was the color last year. That's why green is becoming the color. But I also think that purple should be involved. And with it being living coral, yeah, yeah, I like it too. I think the smoked palette is really cute for travel and everything. Um, I think that um, that's why we see so much green. I think green is going to be is going to be more of the color this season for the end of the year. So I'm gonna put a little rose gold on top of it. But what I would love, and then the other things that I've been noticing is I think what we're going to see and what would be good um, is a, like, okay. Right. No, they really didn't. And coral is such a beautiful color. That's why ColourPop got over on that Sweet Talk palette. Hi, Miss JCM, Miss JC, JCM, JCM, you're new. We've never seen you before. Oh, yeah, it's been mostly blues and greens because of Tarte with that icy bitch yesterday. Everybody got on board with it this year because, you know, they already had their stuff planned for last year. What I would love to see is a... Okay, I'm back. Right. Uh, um, and this is not Browns. And that's the truth. Right. Well, I think a nice... I think we need a really nice gray one with light tones of gray you know all you know the different tones of the grays and then with some beautiful different like a lineup of three shimmers a light gray shimmer a mid-tone gray shimmer and a deep 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 beautiful you know almost nighttime like that's that you know twilight gray shimmer 
that would be pretty but i also think that should come is like okay um nick's trying to do it with i don't know where it's at it's around here someplace but they did that off tropic palette i think that there should be some for the fall like similar to born to run did it a more rainbow but more of a fall winter rainbow you know a very fall winter rainbow and I, what i mean by that is um you know where it would be more like right um where it would be more to the to this essence of doing something okay so i gotta do my under eyes i gotta do my under eyes i would love they start they have some dual crumbs they just don't have a lot of them they have dual crumbs because they have glass bowl they have tea garden they have is my glass bowl just in here what did i do with her so i mean they do have some they just don't have a lot so i'm going back in i'm gonna take grateful around that grateful color i'm gonna take that around because i'm just about to be as extra as you can be at eight o'clock in the morning if this ain't the extra face for greater eight o'clock in the morning i don't know what is we going full extra at 8 a.m what you doing Lulu? you just going full extra at 8 a.m take this around the corner yeah i think that they should do like a very pretty rainbow but that's more of a rainbow for the um it is 8 15. you know that's right right you know i got well i'm trying to be better with my um instagram page and I really just needed to play with this palette because I finally want to do a sort of a review. I mean, I can still review it, at least talk about it. Not necessarily do a full review on it, but say what I've learned about it. What are my thoughts on it? Not that y'all give a damn. Oh yeah, it's an eight hour difference. Because what time are you about four? When are you about four o'clock? Now, where are you at? You're in the Netherlands, right, Dee Dee? I'm just, I'm, I'm mapping out my travel plans for the next few years. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. You know, more so about a rainbow that is, you know, we don't have to go full rainbow, but, and do the deeper side of the rainbow. You know, it doesn't have to be the super bright colors. Do it so that it um, appeals to other people. So do a, a rainbow that has more. Um, so I'm going to go in with the corduroy because I like that green. We're going to see how this looks by itself. So we're going to put this on by itself. See how it works. Okay, ER, I'm, I'm, I got to agree. Yes, the Urban Decay Spectrum with better quality and a little more toned down. So it would be like, like as opposed to doing reds, do the burgundies, you know, do, do those maroony colors. Instead of a bright orange, go with a burnt orange. Do a really pretty fall rainbow. That would be so pretty. The green does look better underneath the eye. I I see I see the light. I see the light. I see the light. Let me smudge these to go. Do it. Okay. Uh, right. A really um. Let's, let's, 
Okay, because I'm trying, I want to try something else out that I don't use a lot. Let's try this one. This is a Makeup Revolution Hyaluronic Fix. I bought this a while ago. Since I'm not, gonna, I'm probably not gonna keep this on all day. I'm gonna take pictures. I'm gonna do a little filming, and then I'm gonna do something else later on. Y'all know I'm extra. Soak this damn face. Cause I'm sorry, that whole oh two or three pumps. No, my face needs a lot. Right, some right, some really pretty oranges, but baby, we about to glow. Now what I am gonna do is I'm going to put a matte setting me to see how it holds, you know. Put on some lashes. Uh Ooh, a good orange cream sickle color. That does sound beautiful. Do my lashes and put some lipstick on. Mm. How y'all let me just do this without no inner highlighter here? I don't have enough like peachy. Just a nice peachy color. I love this brush. So subtle on that. I, I need a nice light peach, which is probably like a creamsicle color. A nice, beautiful light peach. I don't have like baby peaks. You know, I need like the, not, and I don't necessarily want a pastel, but I want a nice baby pink, which is not so, no, so much a pastel. And I don't know if that makes sense. So let's just put her on just so y'all can see. I have these two. I have both of these. I think I'm gonna go with the Karina Star. Let's just see how she looks with this. This fucking packaging is insane. This fucking packaging is insane. It's just insane. It's just insane. It's just insane. Oh. We've got to try home. Is she not gorgeous? <sighs> oh, I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love with Karina Star. Let me put some lashes up. Oh, let me put her back. Let me put her back in her box. Oh, these are the Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips too. You ain't up on these, Dee Dee? Honey, the Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips too. And this is in Karina Star. It's all about the packaging, baby. Dee Dee, hold up. You, you, you got to say, okay, let me just show you. That's that packaging, but let's just talk about this packaging. Let's just talk about this packaging. Um, let me show you the one that you have to get. This is the one that you have to get. You need the Black Panther in your life. You need the Black Panther in your life. Aren't they though? Oh. Charlotte got in for that damn. Miss Charlotte got in for that damn packaging. All right, so let me put some lashes on. Now let's put on some lashes. Which shade is my Black Panther? Remember, the Black Panther is a clear shade which made absolutely no fucking sense to me. And then I got the um, nude shade. Um, I got the nude one. I got that one. Let's just swatch it just a little bit. So she's a true nude. It's like a peachy nude. Um, 
would definitely probably use a lip liner on it even though I hate using lip liners but yeah that clear is crazy I'm like what possessed you to put honestly let me just be real the clear one should have been a chocolate brown if you're doing this black panther thing the, the, the it's missing a chocolate brown that would have been gorgeous a beautiful chocolate brown the chocolate brown she has some deeper colors in it in it um because the, the black panther ones I'm, okay so now i'm gonna put on some lashes but i'm gonna put on a pair, a pair of lashes that make sense right yeah it, it, yeah that clear i was like what what was this an afterthought so they don't put on my lures i need to clean them off just a little bit Oh, that would have been so pretty. A deep brown. Oh, so some damn clear. What the fuck was that? The afterthought. Oh, we want to do one more. Throw some clear in there. The fuck is that? What is that exactly? Okay, so I'm trying to clear up, clear this off without snatching off anything. Now I'm about to put on my lower lashes, which are lashes you can wear without my makeup on. I just be wanting, ooh, that shit just be blowing me. It's like, what? 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 What possessed you to put that crazy shit on your eye and thought that was gonna be cute? I'm using the Duo Quick Set Lash Adhesive because I like a good Quick Set Lash Adhesive. I'm just saying. Get low with me. We will get lower. You can see what I'm doing in the mirror. The mirror's right here. Was I being shady? Or was I just telling the truth? Come on. I'm looking at here and make sure it's not over there. Right. None of it's good. None of it's good for you. Okay, they all good. No, dramatic lashes are awesome in the with, with the look and everything, but you walking around with some dramatic ass lashes on, your eyebrows ain't done, you ain't got shit on, you ain't even got no lip gloss, and you wearing these lashes that look like your ass about to fly away. Come on now. My thing is, if you want to wear lashes and you're not into lip, and let me say, I think lashes are so pretty on. I think a good pair of lashes will open up your eyes. Because I used to wear lashes. I used to do my own lashes. But I also did them where they look more natural. So, so, you know, I get, you know, listen, I live for lashes. But if you're going to wear them like that, then you need to, like, have make sure that, you know, you look kind of like normal. You don't look some mute, you don't look like you got some mutant ass fucking um bug growing on your fucking face. It's just ridiculous looking. I'm sorry. It's just ridiculous looking. It's 
and um i saw something where it was like some little bullshit post where it was like men don't care about the length of your lashes okay that's a lie you know that's a lie men like all of this and they lie that whole i want a natural looking woman that's a lie because when they out they looking at the most unnatural broads ever you know because listen i know it's a lie they looking at the ones that are most unnatural you all think they got that body from um from god Oh, okay, they got them from Dr. God, but they didn't get it from God. They got them from Dr. God. Let's just be honest. And I, you know, hey, and I ain't here to judge you because you got it. But, I mean, it's like me, like, I, I, I like my little woman like this. Listen, the advances that they have in plastic surgery, trust me, you know, women getting their asses reshaped. And you don't know it's that because they're having fat transfer. So, if you get your, and if you do fat transfer, Exactly. Listen, all these women ain't got hair down to their ass. Let's just be honest. What the fuck is going on with this one? Come on, let's go. Oh, okay. Right? Weaves and weave, honey. We talking. Listen, people is redoing their whole body. I, I listen. I call one of them them redo body folks. I'm like, oh shit. Right. You know, it's like it's okay, but don't don't sit up here and shame women because they do it. Because guess what? If y'all wasn't looking at it that hard, a lot of this shit wouldn't be going on. I personally do it because I like it. It's pretty on my face. I love it. And my face is a fucking canvas. I'm a motherfucking work of art. That's what the fuck I am. And when they say crazy shit like that to you, say I'm a motherfucking work of art. Now what? I wish they would. You're like, oh, you, you mad because I'm a work of art and you ain't? And men hide anyway. Listen, ladies and gentlemen. Beware of the right. Beware of the beard. That's all I'm saying. Beard is the beard is like a man's makeup because it has all kind of shit. Some weak ass chins, some fucked up lips, face just all not in, in proportion. Yeah, okay. Don't play with me. Oh, honey, it is. Because some of them, you see without that beard, you be like, please grow your beard back. Speaking of my students, hi, Jonathan Allen. How are you? How's your summer going, young man? How's your summer go going? It's one of my students. <laughs> How's your summer going, Jonathan? Okay, okay, good. No trouble. Wait a minute, were you in that fight? Was you in that fight, Jonathan? Let me roll back. Let me ask him a question. Was you in that fight, boy? Because I can't remember. Were you in that fight? Let's just take this off and fluff the hair. 
You ain't gotta wash your mouth. They know who, they know my mouth. Um, hello, you know if you was in that damn fight. It's too late to talk about it. what am I gonna do? Tell on you? Were you in that fight? Tell the truth, because I, I didn't see you get marched out, but there was something going on the other side of the school that I couldn't see. So just fess up on that shit. Because I know some of y'all was trying to lie like Elijah. Tell him to get on here with his old lying ass. I wasn't fighting. Genesis ass. Okay. Y'all was off. Oh, okay. You didn't get caught. Okay, okay. That's the truth. Now there is the truth. And therein lies the truth. You didn't get caught. Okay. And I ain't mad at you. High five for not getting caught because everybody else got caught. 28 kids got caught in my school. Well, actually, more got caught. Those were the ones that got taken away. Okay, okay. All right, y'all. We have done the whole look and talked. Okay, first off, this Emily palette. Worked out motherfucking pretty good after we figured it out. Now, ER, the next time I do one, I will do it the way you said, dark to light. But I'm loving these greens, y'all. Emily is uh, coming. Emily Emily might be a once for me. Okay, she came out. She came out cute. She came out cute. Look, look. Let me, let me, let me, let me adorn her correctly. Let me put on some. Uh, I'm doing, see, actually, I'm playing with it just to say I finally used it. So I'm actually going to do a semi-review on it. I have one look already done. This is the second. I'll just put that in description. And then I'm going to do one more for the video so I can say I've tried enough colors in this palette. I can talk about it. So now. Because that's what I'm getting away from. That's part of the reason why I'm kind of getting away from these huge palettes. Because they take so much time to, like, really use and really see do you really like the palette is it really worth it things like that but i got to say this bitch came out good right i see not many like the palette but it's actually so far it's not bad you know let me say it's not the best palette ever you know i wouldn't say that this is like the best palette ever like yes you need to run out and get it but it, it, it works, you know, the shimmers are lovely. They do need to be, you know, they do need some, you know, spray. Oh, I am all about, I like nine pans. I can up to 15. After that, I'm a little bit like, uh, right. Maybe they didn't know ER's trick. So I'm gonna try it again the way, because this first time I did it, I did it the other way too. Um, um, I'm going to see, you know, because this is kind of looking kind of cute. And actually, once I really tried to build it up, it came out okay. The green came out okay. It wasn't perfect. We'll see. Okay, then that makes sense. Um, but I can see. And let me say, I, from a big palette standpoint, I like her colors better. What is this? Two, four, six. This is 24 like the Jacqueline Hill is bigger, right? But I don't, I, I got rid of that palette. And part of the reason why is because in first, what the first three fucking rows look almost the same. It was just very, it was like, you know, it was very Morphe like. It was all the same and everybody loves that palette, but it's too much of the fucking same for me. I will say I like this palette from the standpoint that it has more colors. It is more colorful. So if it works for you, you at least can make a lot of different looks. You have enough stuff that can do some shit with it. So, hmm, okay. This came out really good. I, I, am, I am pleasantly surprised. We will, I will try the ER trick on the next look and see how that works out. If it works even better. But I'm saying it, 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 this shit looks good to me. It looks good, no lies. All right, Mr. Jonathan Allen, if you are still here. Yeah. Yes, they really do. They have way too much. You, every Morphe palette has a bunch of... Um, right. And, and see, that's the thing with this. With these type of palettes, you really do need to take some time with them, play with them before you do something. So, 
I'm here to say that this is really pretty to me, y'all. This came out really good. Oh, ER told uh, told me that when you're using um, Makeup Revolution, you shouldn't go from light to dark. You should put your darkest color on first and then build up from the darkest to the lightest colors because something about their shadow, if you're trying to layer a darker shadow on a lighter shadow, it doesn't come out. It's harder to work with. And that's exactly what happened. But I was able to get it to the intensity of the green that I wanted after all. So I'm kind of, okay, okay. And this lipstick is love. Let's just say this lipstick is everything. It's a really cute dude. Right. Right. So, with you saying that then, that I'm going to try again the Pro Palette and do the same thing. Because I'm wondering maybe if the Pro Palette works that way. Because I kind of like it, but remember we were doing the Pro Palette and I had, uh, it was a little more difficult with the darker colors. So maybe I should, I'm going to try that with that too. Girl, you, baby, you done changed my life. With the, with the makeup revolutions. We gonna see how they work. We gonna see. How they work. Right, because you know, because I'm never liked. I will say their their product, they're, they're getting better with their, their quality on their eyeshadows because their eyeshadows was never hitting it. it was not, but this is kinda cute. I know, Candy, now I'm like, Luckily, did I get rid of the last ones I have? I think I got two more. See, now we got, we all going to try it out. Yeah, you're going to have us in here like, yes, we love Make a Revolution now. All right, y'all, let me go ahead, take a few pictures for the, for the, for the gram. Let me, let me, let me get my hair right for the gram. So I can take a few pictures and put on a damn shirt or something for the gram. Do I need a shirt on for the gram? No, I don't, do I? No, I don't. Do it for the gram, y'all. Do it for the gram. Y'all yeah. have a great day. For everybody on Dee, Dee on the other side of the pond, see you later. And for everybody else, you all have a great day. I hope it is beautiful. And talk to y'all later. Um, probably tonight I will be going live because I will be micro needling. I'm going to do a micro needling live. Okay, I will be in touch with you so we can work out to do our our live stream collab vibe. Yes. I got to find a couple more people. That way it'll be nice and tight. Yes. So I'll be micro needling live tonight. I won't schedule it so you all will be able to see it. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.